Alright, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today I'm back with another video here. So today uh, we're doing the game review uh, this morning for last night's Canada versus Latvia game. Um, just one quick thing before I get into the game. You know, a lot of these uh, game reviews uh, for the World Juniors, some of them I'm going to have to do the next day or, or the next morning. Um, so for example, tonight there's two games. Today, the, the 11th, there's two games at 6 and 10. So I'll record the game I actually have to record both because I have work at seven o'clock I usually don't get home till around midnight so I have uh, to you know record those games and then you know I'll, I'll watch the game do the video t uh, very early Friday morning and then I'll watch the 10 o'clock game Friday morning and then do the, the two o'clock tweeting game as well so that's kind of how the world juniors is going to go um, for right now and, and again I do apologize for that but it's kind of just the only way that I can do it um, essentially because, you know, with work and everything, it's, it, there's so many games, it, it's harder for me to, to, you know, take all, and I can't do that, so, um, that's kind of the way it's, it's going to have to be, but for right now, um, you know, obviously, this night's game was a good one for Canada, they ended up picking up a 5-2 win over Latvia, had a pretty, uh, they honestly had a pretty solid game, um, the third period was a little iffy, but overall, I mean, but I thought both Flyers played well, obviously, Canada, Ended up um, coming out on the on the other side of it, five to two. Tyson Forster put on the second line with Logan Stancomb and Ken Johnson, and they had a lot of chemistry in this game. You could see it. Uh, Johnson was very good. Had that beautiful, uh, you know, between the legs backhand toe drag type move. Um, and 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 you know, Forster and Stancomb, and I thought were pretty well on that line. I think they I think they have a lot of chemistry brewing. Dino Ye was on the fourth line again. He was on the fourth line in the last tournament as well for those couple games. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, it, it, it's a shame because he's a player that probably should play more minutes, but all of these guys are, you know, on their respected other clubs. They're like a first-line player. So, it's kind of hard to balance all that. So, you know, Forster ends up playing second-line Dino on the, first, on, on the fourth line. Um, overall, I, I thought the first period was, was pretty solid for Canada. They ended up ending in a 1-1 tie. They, they, they played pretty well. Um, they were kind of, they were dominating at times, but, you know, it, it always kind of felt like Latvia was still in the game for me, at least, at least with the way that I was watching it. Um, it was a good first shift for Forrester, had a couple nice plays to keep the puck alive, had a good defensive play in the, uh, neutral zone. Dino Ye had a hit, and he cleared the puck out on a, a you know, a pretty quick shift. Um, there was only one shot in the first four minutes, 30 seconds, but Dora almost set up a goal, um, for Canada as well. I mean, he, he's incredible. He actually ended up opening the story here. Uh, again, right off of, of a, a zone entry, kind of going in the zone, which is a low wrist shot, and you, you saw in the replay how much power he put into that shot. So, I mean, look, this kid's incredible, and the unfortunate part of all this is he's going to get picked all the time because he's been the consensus number one for so long that, like, everybody knows that this guy is going to go first, so he's just going to get ripped apart. And uh, unfortunately, that's how it is, because when you see so much film on somebody, you're going to find, you know, things like that. And um, before this, there was actually a nice shift by the Forster line that I wanted to mention as well. Uh, he, he, you could definitely tell Forster is, is bigger. I mean, from, from when he was drafted a couple years ago until now, um, he's, he, he's huge. And he can throw the body. That is one thing I noticed. Him and, him and Dino, yeah, I should say, they really were hitting in this game. There's a lot of good hits from the two of them. Um, Forrester almost scored on a rush chance, he had a nice shot high glove, and then he almost scored on a wraparound chance a couple minutes later, so he had two chances in this period, actually hit the post on the wraparound. 1-1 um, one, one game, uh, it, it was, this actually was a really nice goal from Darzins for Latvia, and it was just a high blocker shot, looked like it deflected a little bit, and it, it, it's one of the, the, the unfortunate ones because it's, you know, they're only their fourth shot of the game, they get a little puck lock and ends up deflecting and ends up going in. Uh, high stick side, and, and and that's like the the unfortunate goal to give up if if you're Canada because you've you've played a pretty good period. You're up one nothing, and in a game where you probably should be, I guess you could say dominating these guys, and they were um, from all stats and things like that as well. But again, um, you know each period and kind of as the game went on, it felt like they were dominating. Uh, second period, Forster had a pretty, pretty nice solid hit at the uh, Latvia bench. They, again, they were dominating. Forster line was great. They set up him. Again, he was put on that line, and he's been set up well to have a good tournament. So 
that should continue. He had a, a chance driving in it on a score, but it was deflected away. Then Canada gets a power play. Uh, Latvia had a shorthanded chance, but that really did. They did nothing with that first power play of the game. Uh, Forster was on the second unit, not a good power play at all. Uh, Canada has been, re they were really sloppy f since the power play started. They just had a couple really bad um, just breakdowns in their own zone. Latvia had another chance to score. They had a couple, couple shots and some really good quality chances. And then Canada would actually get on the power play and score. Uh, Lucas Cormier would score from the point. Um, Forster was out there, and it was a good screen by Forster to kind of keep the keep the play alive, um, and also just you know it, it was just a, a smart play because it was kind of like 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 Simmons like where kind of standing in front of that goal he can't really see he's scrambling around, um, and he did a couple again I had a couple of nice plays to kind of keep that play alive in front of that and things like that, and then um, Canada actually again they score on the point shot so it's two one, they get another power play on a trip. Um, and then they end up scoring again, shot for the point again, double deflection in the, front, in, in, in the slot. So it's 3-1, and then Ridley Greig would score a beautiful goal on a breakaway, kind of like the, I guess you could say it's similar to like that Barkov uh, type, in one hand like holding the stick, flicking the puck up. Similar, he didn't really get that much air on it, and it was on his forehand. Uh, he kind of just like poked at it, ended up going right through the goalie's legs, and it was 4-1 there, so it was a beautiful goal on a breakaway. So 4-1 going in the third, you, you kind of just want to close this out, but they didn't. Um, they ended up taking three power plays, or excuse me, four penalties. So Latvia gets four power plays. Uh, there was a Bortle McTavish, trip on Grieg, delay game on Johnson, and the hook on Grieg. So Grieg gets two, a delay game, and a board. And the board was an offensive zone. I believe the trip was an offensive zone. Obviously, delay game, and um, the hook, that was on the penalty kill. So... Not the best um, sequence of penalties, and Latvia ended up scoring on their second power play of, of the four, and it was four seconds in. Unfortunately, Dinoye was on the wrong side of this because he ended up going to, to get to his spot, which was where the goal scorer was, but yeah, he got tripped up off the faceoff, and that left the lane wide open, pass went right over, and Koso didn't pick it up, so it ended up just going, just blowing right by him and ended up being 4-2. But Canada, after the power plays, and they killed off that 5-on-3 for 9 seconds, um, they were better. Dufour ended up making it 5-2. Overall, it was a pretty good game for both of these teams. Um, you know, if you're Latvia, you 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 played well for, for what it was. I mean, against Canada, you, you held in there and you only lost 5-2. Uh, but again, obviously Forster, he had a shooting mentality in this one. He was pretty good. Um, I did really like his chemistry. I think he's going to be able to rack up some points. And, you know, yeah, again, he had some good, solid shifts. He played well overall. So, again, I, I, I think this is, you know, more of a growing experience for the first game. And, again, they did play Latvia, too. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, but, again, overall, I thought it was a pretty good game for both these Flyers. Let me know what your guys' thoughts were below. And I will talk to you all again soon.